Welcome to Radiant Resilience. I'm Tori. Today we're going to be doing an all level slow flow practice. It's a little bit more challenging than some of my previous videos. So um, just take it at your own pace. Make sure you're staying safe. Uh, as far as props go, you might want a knee pad. And if you have blocks, have those handy. Also, um, if you don't have a block, maybe a ball, something that's not very heavy that you could have for one of the things we're going to do. And you don't have to use a prop if you don't have one available. So let's get started. Go ahead and come down onto your mat. And you can have your legs long or you can have feet on the floor with your knees propping each other up. Palms or arms comfortably away from your sides with your palms facing up. I always like to start with some breathing, breathing, it helps us come into the present moment, letting everything else go. So just start to notice your breath and just simply bringing your awareness to the breath will usually make it go a little slower and the breath will deepen. And then you're going to consciously expand your breath. So you're inhaling from your belly all the way up to your collarbones, exhaling from the collarbones down to the belly. So you want to breathe in as deeply as you can. You might even feel your shoulders and your collarbones move a little bit at the top of your breath. And then exhale, relax everything out from collarbones down. Now, as you continue with this big, deep breath, make your exhales longer than your inhales. And I'm gonna have you inhale through your nose, softly part the lips, long extended exhales through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. After this exhale is complete, inhale, big, full breath in, and sigh it out. <sighs> if you are seated or if your legs are bent, lengthen them out along the floor. Reach your arms over your head. On your inhale, take a big, full stretch. On your exhale, bring one knee into your chest. And then stretch it back out, inhale. Exhale, stretch the, or hug the other knee in. And go again, inhale, stretch. Exhale, hug. And again, inhale, up. And hug. And then stretch again. Now this time when you hug your knee in, you're gonna keep it there for a few breaths. Breathe here, nice and easy. Nice way to Start to stretch out the hips and the low back and then stretch back out and bring the other knee in. Hold there for a few breaths. And then slide both feet to the floor. Open your arms out to a T position. Keeping your upper arms connected to the floor straight out from your shoulders, the elbows are straight out from the shoulders. Bend your elbows so your palm or your um, index fingers and fingertips are pointing to the sky. And then you're just going to rotate your shoulders. So you're going to rotate up where the, hand come, the hands come next to your face, through your starting point, and down by your waist. And just notice the uh, range of motion you have in each arm, if it's the same or different. Let your wrists and fingers be soft. Now changing it up, you're going to do opposite arms. Your arms are going to go opposite. So one arm goes up, the other arm goes down. And back to center and the other way. So now we're going to make this a little more complicated by adding a twist and head direction. 
So as the arm that's going up goes up, you're going to turn in that direction and let your knees fall away. And then back through center and switch. So you're turning your head towards the arm that's going up and the knees are pointing to the arm that's going down. And you're just keeping the range really gentle. You're not forcing into it at all. All right, and now back to your starting point. Same thing, same movement, except for this time, you're turning your head towards the hand going down and the knees towards the hand going up. So you might have to go really slow for the first repetitions until you get that organized, until your brain organizes that movement. Not only are we releasing some tension in the neck and shoulders, but these somatics um, make your brain work. We're moving in ways that don't feel um, instinctive. And then coming back to center, lengthen arms out to a T, palms facing up, breathe in. And as you exhale, let your knees fall to one side, head looks opposite and take a side. And then back through center, other side. And take another side. And then back to center. Come back to that starting point with the arms, those goalpost arms. And now go back to hands moving in the same direction. And notice if things have changed. I, I can feel I have a little more range in this movement. I, I had more range in my left arm than my right, and that still is the case, but I have more range altogether. All right, and then bring your knees into your chest. Hands on kneecaps, inhale, push your knees away from you, lengthening the arms, exhale, pull knees back in. Feeling that gentle rocking motion of your pelvis with this movement. As knees come back in towards your chest, either go side to side with legs or make circles, knees going in the same direction, massaging your low back. If you're circling, go the other direction. If you're rocking, you can play with how close or far your knees are from your chest, and that gets into different spots in the low back. Knees coming back into center, open knees apart, circle them around, bring them back together. Lubricating your hip joints, and then go the opposite way. I always think this feels really good. Okay, knees coming in towards your chest, breathe in, exhale, reach legs up towards the ceiling, point one foot, flex the other, alternating. Rotate your ankles. And rotate the opposite way. Flex your feet, spread your toes out, bring your hands to your right leg, and walk your hands up that leg, lifting your head and shoulders up. Lower the other leg and toes just above the floor and point the toes. Breathe in. On your exhale, switch the legs. Inhale, exhale, switch. Breathe in and switch. Breathe in and switch. We'll do two more. Breathe in. Switch. Breathe in. And switch. And then bend both knees into your chest. Rock your head side to side. Head comes to center. Arms down by your sides. Turn your palms up. Bring your feet to the floor right next to each other. Open knees out into a butterfly. Inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift your hips up and bring your knees slightly closer together. And then inhale, drop hips, open knees back out. Exhale, lift, squeeze knees closer. Inhale, open and lower. Couple more up and down. And up, pause here for just a few breaths. You might notice that you're doing a little swaying. That um, sometimes is your psoas on each side firing just a slightly different time. 
breathe in, and then as you exhale, lower back down, let your knees stay open, relax there for a breath. And then bring feet to the floor, knees come back in. Walk your feet out to about shoulder width, and walk your feet away from your hips. So we're coming into a bridge, but it's a long bridge. So traditionally, you have your knees in close to your hips. I want you to walk your feet out further than you usually have them. Inhale. As you exhale, bring yourself up to this long bridge. Now what this is doing is it's giving you more space to lengthen your low back so there's no compression there. And then come up onto your heels. So the rest of the foot lifts, you're just on the heels. And that makes your hamstrings work a little more. If you want it to be more challenging, lower down, walk your feet even further out and come back up. Pull your heels towards your shoulders and feel your hamstrings fire. One more breath. And then slowly lower all the way down, knees into your chest, rock side to side. And roll to your side and bring yourself upright. Once you're seated really tall, bring your hands behind your head, use your thumbs right at the base of your skull to pull the base of your skull up, lengthening the back of your neck, your chin drops down. And just feel that stretch. And now breathe in as you exhale, lower your chin, let your elbows fall forward. Wait as the hands are um, stretching the back of the neck. Keep the rest of your spine long though, so you're not rounding your spine. You want to stay upright. You're just feeling this along the back of your neck and maybe between your shoulder blades. And then come up, open your elbows. Turn your head slightly to one side. Drop the chin down, elbows come forward. And come up and slightly to the other side. Chin comes down, elbows forward. and come back up. Now bring your hands to each side of your face and you're gonna have your thumbs kind of hooked around your ears and you're gonna go side to side. The side that's going up, you're using your hands to kind of lift up. Stretching out the neck and then back to center. Bring your hands down. One hand comes up and over your head to the other side of your face and then use that hand to draw the head over to one side. Other hand is pushing down into the floor. So the hand that's on your face, it can just hang there, weight of the hand, arm is working, is doing the work. Or you can do a gentle pull, just make sure it's nothing too intense. And then a really small range of motion, maybe a few little nods. And then stop. Take that same hand, bring it to the other side of your head and help your head up. Switching, drape over, other hands pushing down, pull your head to the side, and you can let the weight of your head, hand, ugh, the weight of your arm do the work, or you might do a little pull. Then maybe some nods. <laughs> and pause. Now take your hand to the other side of your face, and help your head upright. Release the hands, roll your shoulders up, back, and around. And then shoulders go independently into your back stroke. On your inhale, shrug. Exhale, release. Sweep the arms up, interlace fingers, press your palms up, shoulders dropping down. And then you're just going to kind of push side to side. So not a full side bend, but really push the rib cage out in each direction. Uh, as you come back to center, open your arms out. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, open, round to one side. And open in the middle, round to the other side. Back to the middle, now round forward and open back out and then bring the arms out turn your palms up we're going to do a little finger curl roll uh, pinky first one finger at a time curl the fingers in thumb is left make a fist 
and bring your knuckles up towards the ceiling. So you're curling your hand in towards the center, uh, the inside of your wrist. Feel that stretch in your wrists and your forearms. Lift the hand, uncurl, pinky first to thumbs, push through the heels of your hands, fingers up. Flip, curl in, flip, uncurl. Once more, flip, curl in, and flip, uncurl. Good. Lengthen the arms back out, turn one palm up. So the palm is turning up, shoulder rolls up, back and down. The palm turning down, rolls forward. So the shoulders are going opposite each other. And just go side to side a few times. And then back to neutral, stretch the arms open wide, and then bring the hands together. Heels of your hands stays together, arms stay pretty still, move through your wrists. Figure eights with your wrists, and figure eight the other way. Okay, shake the hands out, work it into our hips a little bit more. We're gonna um, come forward, hinging forward, Keep your spine long, chin is tucked. And then the direction the front toes are pointing is the direction you walk your hands. Back to the middle. Come up, switch the cross of your feet, and come forward again. Walk your hands in the direction of your front foot. Back to the center, come up. Now we're just kind of, we're working those, the back side of our hips. Now we're gonna open up the front side. So you're gonna keep your legs crossed and lean back onto your elbows. And just let your legs be nice and open. Keep lengthening the low back, scooping the navel in so you're not arching into your low back. Shoulders are open. Notice if you started gripping somewhere. And if that's the case, like I, I tend, in this position, I tend to want to like grip my glutes up. So relax everything as you're exhaling. And then you can either come back up and switch the cross of your legs, or it might be easier just to switch the cross of your legs while you stay down. And notice how this side feels and if it's different than the first side. Okay, I just found myself gripping my glutes, so soften anything that you can soften on this next exhale. All right, coming up, swing legs around, working your way up to table. Now remember, you can always pad your knees or you could double up your mat if your knees are really tender. In table, inhale, exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch. And keep going round and arch and round and arch. Coming back to center, walk your hands forward, working your way into a plank on your knees. Tailbones long, navel scoop in and up. We're going to do a big exhale into a puppy pose. Breathe in, exhale back. So the hips stay lifted and we're going to flow with that. Inhale forward. Exhale back, two more, last one, stay here, reaching your arms forward, if you want a deeper shoulder stretch, come up onto your fingertips, palms lift, outside edges of your uh, armpits are reaching to the sky. And then ease hips back into a child's pose. If it feels good, rock side to side. Come to center for a breath. Come back up to table, hinge forward, roll yourself all the way down. So remember I said if you have a block or a ball or something handy, you could even use a knee pad. Now's the time where we're gonna use that. If you don't have a prop, you're just going to do the arm movement without a prop. So if you do, it's the hands are going to be out in front of you, framing your block or your ball or whatever it is. 
Lengthen out your tailbone, scoop your navel in and out, engage glutes, lift your heart, lift the arms, lift the legs. Now, release the prop from one hand and reach that arm back. And then sweep the prop back, switch into the other hand, other arm comes forward, prop arm comes forward. We're going to reverse that so the other arm reaches back empty, prop goes back, switch. Empty hand forward, prop hand forward, switch again, empty hand back, prop back, switch, empty hand forward, prop forward. So it's like we're doing around the world. One more time, empty back, prop back, switch the prop, empty hand forward, prop hand forward, breathe, 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 release the prop, hands come down, lift under your forehead, take a big sigh. <sighs> Wiggle hips side to side. Back to center, hands next to your rib cage, low on your ribs. So glow your shoulders. Shoulders go up, up, and down. Lengthen tailbone, navel in, glutes working. Come up to a low cobra. Tuck in your chin. Now, if it feels available to you, you might go for a deeper front stretch. Using the arms to press up, shoulders are down so your neck is long. Make sure you're not locking your elbows and that your back is happy. Couple more breaths here. And release all the way down. Press up to table. Wag your hips side to side. Back to child's pose. Slide your arms down by your sides. Big inhale, forceful exhale to engage your core. <sighs> inhale, sweep your arms up to your knees down. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Two more of those. Up, down. Last one. Now come up, stay there, and bring your hands and your heart. Take a breath there. Hands come back down. Step one foot forward. We're working into a half lunge. So you want to use your toes to walk your front foot forward enough so that when your hips come forward, your front knee falls right over your ankle. All right, once you have that set up, you're going to lift your torso off your front thigh, stretch your arms forward alongside your ears. And then lift the heart, open the arms wide. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, open back up. And one more, forward. And open. From there, you can keep the arms out or reach them up. Bring your hands down now. If holding, having hands on each side of your foot is feeling um, not comfortable, you can come up onto blocks. You can also bring your hand to the inside of the foot. Shift your hips back, lengthen the front leg. Try to lengthen your spine. You can stay right here holding, breathing, or you might drop your hips down to your back heel and fold forward from there. All right. Coming back up, walk your hands forward, back toes under, lift the back knee up. Lengthen through your spine, breathe in. As you exhale, straighten the front leg or get as close to straight as you can, lift toes up. And then bring the toes down, hips forward, heart lifts. Push back, toes up, come forward, heart lifts. Let's do two more, back and up forward and up. Last one. All right, finding your lunge, strong back leg. Now we're gonna either drop the back knee and come back to table, or maybe step right back to a plank. Finding plank on knees or toes, take a few smooth breaths. And then when you're ready, exhale into puppy pose or down dog. If you come into down dog, you might pedal your feet a little. 
Puppy pose, you can come up onto the fingertips again like you did before. Settling into your pose, take a few deeper breaths. And then down and back to child pose. Breathe here. Notice if your breath is quick or shallow. See if you can slow it down. Maybe make it deeper in your body, down into the belly. All right, back up to table. We're going to step the other foot back. Finding your half lunge here first. Scoop the navel in and up. Come off your front thigh. Arms reach up over and alongside your ear. Exhale. Inhale, heart opens, arms open. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, open. Two more, forward. Open, last one, forward. And open, you can stay open or arms reach up. Hands coming down to the floor, shift hips back, lengthen the front leg, lifting toes up, lengthen your spine. Staying here, breathing right there, or dropping down to your back leg, or your back heel. All right, coming up and forward again. Back toes under, lift your back knee up. Find your strong lunge. Breathe in, exhale, lengthen the front leg, lift the toes up. Inhale, hinge forward, heart lifts. Exhale, push back. Inhale, forward. Oh, two more, up and forward. And last one, up oh, and forward. All right, now we're gonna come back table or plank again. If you go through table, then you can find your plank on toes and knees. And we're gonna do just like we did before, that half plank to puppy pose or plank to down dog. Deep breath in and then exhale. <sighs> Inhale forward. Exhale back. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Pause here. And back to child's pose. Taking a sigh and come up to table. Stretch one leg out behind you, toes tucking under on the floor, push back through heel. Maybe lift the opposite knee up towards your chest if that's available to you. If you did lift that bottom knee, bring it back to the floor. And then opposite arm as long leg stretches forward, lift the foot up. You might stay here working on balance or come with me. Inhale. As you exhale, arm and leg sweep to the side. Inhale back to the center line. Exhale, reach out. Inhale back. This one's hard. And reach out. And come back. Bring your hand to the floor. Sweep the leg all the way out. Drop the foot down. All right. So the toes are pointing straight ahead, outside edge of their foot is pushing down, lengthen sits bones back, and then drop the hip of your long leg. You can stay as is, you can go down to elbows, or you might go back to your heel. If you did lower down, come back up onto the knee and the hand. Now use your foot to heel toe that foot forward a bit and bend the knee. As we do this next movement, we want the knee to go down through the center line of your foot, not in by your big toe, okay? So if, you're, if you find your knee is in by your big toe, walk your foot forward more until you can match them up, all right? Hands are on the floor or a block. We're gonna, just going to glide in and work out. In, out, a couple more here. Oh. I think this one feels good. <laughs> now, the next time you glide into it, stay there. Walk your hands over in that direction, and you're either going to keep your hand on the floor and reach the other arm up and over, or you can bring your elbow to your thigh. Either way. 
come on up. Lengthen that leg out, push the ball of the foot down, breathe in, exhale, reach out and away from that long leg, inhale, come up. Reach out and up and out and up. Now we're gonna come into it and hold, maybe clasp hands, reach to the side. Pause there, breathe. Open the arms out, bring the bottom hand to the floor. Lift the leg up and stretch the arm alongside the ear. Inhale, exhale, squeeze knee and elbow together. Inhale, stretch out, exhale, squeeze. And stretch, two more, squeeze. Stretch, last one, squeeze. And stretch, holding here or bend your knee, reach back, find your foot and open your heart. If you did find your foot, lengthen the leg back out, bring the foot to the floor and come up. Angle toes out, ball, gas pedal your foot down to the floor, reach your arms out, breathe in, exhale, reach out over that leg, hands soft on the leg, other arm up towards the sky. Now you could go deeper, arm by the side of your head. And come on up, hands to the floor, back to table, and back to child's pose. Returning to table, stretching the other leg out behind your toes, tucking under, pushing back through your heel, maybe lift the other knee. Knee comes down, opposite arm is leg, reaches forward. Lift the foot up, stay here or breathe in, exhale, reach out to the side. Inhale, center. Out and center and one more. Out and center. Bring your hand down, sweep that leg all the way out to the side. Outside edge of the foot pushes down, arch lifts, tailbone back. Drop the hip. Maybe go down to elbows. And maybe drop your hip to your heels. Coming back up to knee and hand. Walk your foot forward as you're bending the knee. So check in. Knee can go take that line through the center of your foot. Adjust your foot as needed and then go in and out of it a few times. The next time you lean into it, you're gonna stay there, walk your hands over to that side, hand on the floor, other arm alongside the ear, or up on your elbow on your thigh. And come up, lengthen the leg, Maybe walk the foot back a little bit. Now breathe in, exhale, stretch. Inhale up and reach up. One more like that. And up, arms up, clasp, hands reach, hold there. Release the arms, bottom hand comes down, foot lifts. Top arm alongside your ear, breathe in, exhale, elbow to knee, and stretch it out. And one more of those. You can stay right here or bend your knee, reach back, find your foot, open your chest. And then reach back out, foot comes to the floor, Come all the way up, toes turn out, gas pedal the ball of the foot down, breathe in, exhale, reach out, hand softly on the leg, you're not pressing down, other arm up, or alongside your ear. And come on up, hands to the floor, back to table, back to child's pose. Hmm. All right, coming on up, we're gonna come up to standing through squat pose. Now, squat pose isn't 
a pose for everybody. So if you don't like squat pose, you're going to come up to chair pose instead, but I'll walk you through it. So you're going to bring your feet out to about mat width and then start to rock back up on the balls of your feet. Let your knees lift. So maybe you keep your heels lifted. Maybe you drop your heels down, lengthen through your spine, or you can be up here in chair. Okay. Now, sometimes you'll hear people cue you to have your toes pointing straight ahead. I find when you point your toes straight ahead, that puts torque on your knee, which we don't really want. So if you line your foot up with the angle of your thigh, then you're not twisting your knee. Just make sure you're still lifting up your arches, because if you drop into your arches, then you're pulling on that, the inner ligaments of your knee, which you want to avoid. So, hips drop, chest is open, breathe here. And then bring hands down. Now we're gonna work up into ragdoll, lift your hips, turn your toes forward, keep them about shoulder width apart though. Bend your knees, hang here. You can let arms hang, you can cup your elbows, maybe swing side to side. Coming back to the center, hands to your thighs, shoulders away from your ears, shake your head no. Not yet. Head hangs, deep breath in. Exhale, come up halfway with a flat back. And then breathe in and exhale, roll yourself all the way up, shoulders going up, back down. Inhale, sweep the arms up and exhale, hands to your heart. Stay here for a few breaths. All right, so now we're gonna um, come to the center of the mat and face the long edge. So if you wanna ch change your mat so that it's facing, uh, facing me this way, that might be helpful for you. Back to the center of your mat here, find your mountain pose, shoulders going up, back and down, palms forward, crown of the head pressing up, and just feel your feet grounding into the floor. Now inhale, sweep the arms up, and exhale, fold yourself down. Inhale, come up halfway, so you're sliding up, and then lowering back down, fingers going back. Inhale, all the way up. Hands to your heart, let's do that again. Inhale, up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, and lower, reach back, inhale all the way up, hands to your heart, and take a sigh. Eyes open, arms come down, we're going to come into one toe stand, sweep your arms up, come up onto the toes, try to hold it, ball of the big toe is pushing down into the floor to stabilize ankle, hands to the heart, Lower your heels and breathe. Release the hands down, open your feet wide. Finding the right width for your body. And then we're gonna turn the toes out. Arms come out, breathe in. This, both legs are straight. That front leg, the one you're facing, ball the foot pushing down into the floor. Breathe in, exhale, reach out. Inhale, come back up. As you reach, the hips are kind of shifting in the opposite direction. And back up. And one more time, reach out. When you can't reach anymore, turn your hand. So your hand can be down on the block or on the floor or anywhere on your leg. Just make sure you don't press down on your leg here. Good. Now trying to keep that leg straight if you need to bend it. But if you can, keep it straight as you come up. Pinwheel the arms in the other direction, arm reaches up. Arms back to that T, inhale, exhale into warrior two. Take another breath in as you exhale into side angle pose, elbow on thigh or hand is lower. Breathe here. 
Now, looking down at that bent leg, we're going to ease our way into lunge. Hands on each side of that foot. Lift your back heel up, facing the, the short edge of your mat now. Same hand as front leg. Reaches up into a twist. Bring the hand down. Now, this is the probably the most challenging part of the class. We're going to push off your back leg. Slide your hands forward. Hands can be up on blocks if you need to. Lift the back leg. Turning the toes straight down, lengthening from the heel to the top of your head. Now, trying to go into a balance. Same hand as your standing leg reaches out to the side. Palm out, palm down, I mean. And then maybe the other arm comes out too. <laughs> then you might have one side that's more challenging for you. <laughs> and then bring both hands down. Lengthen out through your spine, breathe in, and exhale round. Both knees bend, inhale, reach back out, and bend, and reach, and one more, bend, and reach. And then the last thing that we'll try is to bend the knee, and then same hand to standing leg, reaches back to the foot. Hand comes down, leg lengthens back, bend your standing leg, step the other foot back, plant the foot down, heel down, toes ankles out, we're gamming up to warrior one. So you can walk hands up your leg or sweep the arms all the way up. Sweep hands down to the inside of that foot, walk your hands forward, facing the long edge of your mat again, inhale, lengthen out through your spine, exhale, hold down. And then back up to that halfway point, hands up to the very top of your thighs, press your thigh bones back, lengthen through the spine, and hinge up. Same sequence on the other side, toes go out, arms come out, breathe in, exhale, reach out over the leg, and come up, and reach, and come up, and one more, reach, and turn the arms. Breathe here, lengthening through each side of your waist evenly. Looking down, ball that foot stays pressing down. You can bend the knee or try to keep it straight as you come up and then pinwheel the arms in the other direction. Arms back to a T, inhale, exhale, warrior two. One more breath in. As you exhale, side ankle pose, elbow to the thigh, or hand goes lower. Okay, looking down, hands come to each side of that foot, lift your back heel up. Into lunge, twisting towards your front leg, same hand as front leg reaches up. Hand comes down. Slide your hands forward as you push off your back leg and lift. Supportive warrior three. Working on balance, same arm as standing leg reaches out first. Maybe the other arm lifts off. Strong back. Hands come back down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, round. And reach. One more, out and in, coming back out, hold there, maybe bend the knee, same hand to standing leg would reach back to the foot, push foot into hand, and then hand down, lengthen the leg, bend standing leg, step the other foot back, aim for the heel down, toes angle out, hands either walk up your front leg or sweep all the way up warrior one. Sweep the hands back down, changing it up. Back heel lift, step forward. Fingers reach back. Inhale, all the way up. Hands to your heart. Arms down, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lower. Fingers go back. Inhale, all the way up. Palms come together. Lower down, chair pose. 
weight in your heels more than your toes. Use your hands, pressing your hands together to open your chest. So coming into a twist, you can bring forearm to the thigh, other hand to the hip or reach up, or hands stay together, elbow hooks between knees or to the outside of the leg. Lengthen your spine. Check in, one knee usually tries to pop forward, so even those up, and then maybe reach the arms out. Hmm. Back to hands to the heart, back to center. Breathe in, exhale, other direction. And back to center, push heels into the floor, inhale, reach up, exhale, fold down, inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, lower down, and then you're going to step back to table or plank. This is our last plank, breathe, and back to puppy pose or down dog, last one of these. And down into child's pose. Roll yourself up. We're going to bring the hips to the floor, legs out in front of you. Come forward enough so that when you come down to your mat, you'll be on your mat. And then we're going to come to the tips of the toes, hands behind your uh, knees, open up through your chest. Chest is lifted. Now you can stay on toes or you can bring legs up. Try to squeeze the legs together. You can stay right here or you can bring arms up. And then the final thing we're adding is a rope climb. So you're going to exhale as you reach. Couple more. Last one. Hands behind knees, feet to the floor. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, pull it back and roll yourself down all the way to the floor. Knees into your chest, rock side to side. All right, working on the hips just a little bit more. We're going to bring the left foot to the floor, cross right ankle over left thigh. Flex your right foot and press your right thigh away from you. So you're up by the crease of the hip pushing the thigh away, opening through the front of your hip joint there. As you release that press, your bottom foot, your left foot can stay on the floor. It could come up to a block or you could bring the knee into your chest. So hands can go around the back of your left thigh so that one hand's going through that window that your leg is creating, or you can bring hands around your shin. If you want to hold on to the leg but your arms don't feel long enough, use a strap or a towel or something behind your thigh to just make your arms longer. From there, rocking side to side, noticing how it feels different when you go one direction versus the other, and then find the place that feels the right place for you to stop and breathe. So as we release, this is going to be a little bit pressily. So you're going to take your left hand and reach it over to your right knee, your top knee. And then you're going to bring that knee tight into your chest. Right hand is going to reach under the leg and find your left foot. So you're going to bring your right knee tight into your chest. As you find your left foot with your hand, drop that leg down. Now it may not go all the way down. You're just going to go as far as it works for you. And this is another one where sometimes you might notice that you're gripping somewhere. So see if you can let go of that gripping feeling. Softening into it. Now release your hand from your bottom foot. So you're letting your left foot go and bringing that hand around the knee and lengthening the left leg out, just like we started class. Back to the beginning, like little bookends. And then set your right foot down, bring your left leg in and cross the ankle over the thigh. 
press your left thigh away from you, up by the crease of your hip. Flex your foot, that stabilizes your knee. Release that press, bottom foot, right foot can stay on the floor, up to a block or bring the knee in. And remember, you can always use a strap. Move your legs side to side. Noticing how the pose feels different when you're going one direction versus the other. And then find your stopping place, that will be different for everyone, and breathe there. Okay, now as you release, right hand comes across and holds your left knee in, hugging it into your body. Left hand reaches under the left leg to find your right foot. And once you've got a hold of the right foot, let the right leg come down towards the floor and keep pulling the left knee in tight to your chest. And pulling the knee in tight helps you um, keep your low back from arching. And breathing here, stopping as much as you're able to. Okay, so now letting go of that bottom foot, bring both hands to your left knee and lengthen your right leg out. Breathe here. The leg you're holding, bring to the floor, slide the other foot to the floor, arms come out to a T position. Lift your hips up and slide them over about four inches to the left. Bring your knees up, inhale, as you exhale, twist to the right. Look over your left shoulder and take a sigh. Head comes center, knees come back up. So now your hips are kind of crooked. Press feet into the floor, slide the hips through center and about four inches to the right. Knees up, breathe in, exhale, twist left, look right and sigh. And center your head. Center the knees, feet are on the floor, center hips. Lengthen legs out, reach arms up, inhale, big full stretch. And exhale, let it go. One more of those, inhale, stretch. And release, and then think if there's one last pose that you might wanna do before you come into your Shavasana. It can be anything Maybe you just want to rock hugging your knees, or maybe come into happy baby or bridge, whatever is calling to you. Play with it a little bit. And once you've come into those last movements that will make your practice feel complete, then work your way into Shavasana. Maybe Shavasana is in constructive rest pose, knees bent, feet on floor. Maybe legs are long, or you might choose to come onto your side or your belly or to sit up or up in a chair. Just make sure that you're able to be very comfortable. And once you've settled into your Shavasana, take a sigh or two. With each sigh, soften anything that you might still be holding. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. Every exhale allows your body to relax a little more. All the muscles in your face relax, your tongue releases. Neck and shoulders, down the arms, wrist to the fingertips. Softening the front of your chest, the upper back, the shoulders, the lower back, the belly, the hips. Releasing the legs, 
ankles, feet and toes. This is your time to recharge and to integrate the benefits of the awesome practice that we just did. Nothing to do except be right here, right now in this moment. breath flows without thought. is your time. Breathe into your belly, let it go. Breathe in belly, low ribs, let it go. Breathe in belly, ribs, upper chest, great big breath, let it go. Slowly, gently bring movement back into your body. If you are laying down, come onto your side and stay here long enough to sigh once more. Nice and easy, bring yourself up to a seated position. You're going to come into the Adi Mudra, tuck your thumbs in, round your fingers softly over your thumbs, and rest your hands on your lap. This is the gesture of tranquility, primordial stillness, very grounding, calming. Keeping the eyes closed, taking a few breaths. And then very gently bring hands together at your heart. Not only is it a gesture of um, reverence, but it's a gesture of balance, right and left, masculine, feminine, sun, moon, yin, yang, ta, ta. And then bow your head towards your heart center and give yourself a little Thank you for taking time out of your day for your practice. Giving yourself permission for some self-care. I thank you for allowing me to share this time with you. Namaste.